and I'm back with a, another video today. This is my long-awaited school supplies haul, y'all. OMG. It's been like a whole year since I did my first one. Like, that's crazy. Let's just talk about that. Such an important video to me because if you guys didn't know, this is my first video that got over a thousand views on my channel. So if you have not watched my last year's video, go check that video out right there if you're just binging back to school supplies haul videos. Today I am here with my school supplies shopping haul because I went shopping at a couple different places actually. I didn't just go to Target because I'm not that basic. I know some of y'all are going to be like in my comments being like, it's not even August yet. Like July just started. Like why are you doing a school supplies haul? It's still summer. No. I love doing these videos and I think that they're the funnest videos to watch. Just like school supplies videos, school shopping haul videos. All those videos are just bomb. If you haven't already, I mean, hey, hello, how are you? I'm Cameron. Smash the subscribe button down below if you're new here and welcome back to my channel if you aren't. You just click the subscribe button like we're all automatically YouTube besties. And leave me a comment down below because I literally love responding to y'all's comments. I respond to every single comment, like even if it's just saying like hi or something. I respond to every single comment. But with that being said, we're just gonna roll on to my hefty school supplies haul. This is my backpack for this year. Um, this is the same backpack that I had last year, but I got it monogrammed. I don't know if that was in my last year's haul video. It's monogrammed. It's just a North Face Borealis backpack. I love this. I got it in black, and I don't know what color this is. It's like a sky blue. I don't know, but it's like a light blue color, so I don't remember the exact combination. But it's super nice. I actually love it. It holds a lot of stuff. It's pretty expensive. I think it was like $89, 90 bucks for a backpack, which is pretty expensive. So yeah, that's my backpack for this year. I also got a MacBook Pro, 13 inch 2020 MacBook Pro. If you're new to my channel, I have an unboxing video. So definitely go check that out if you want to. I got you covered. So now moving on to other places that I went. I'm gonna first start off with Joann's. I know it's kind of weird, but I'm gonna start off with Joann's. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you guys is my planner for this year, which I'm super excited about. This is my planner for this year. It's from the brand Happy Planner, and it says Babe Support Babes on it. I literally love it. It's a bigger format. I typically get the medium-sized ones, but this is a large, and I love it. I love the spread of it. It's super pretty. I'll show you. It has a horizontal layout. I prefer horizontal layouts to vertical layouts any day. I love being able to write and have a lot of room. It also has a monthly spread, which is really nice. And it has like an importance date section, birthday section, like priorities section. It has a lot of different sections in here. And it's so freaking nice. So my planner is an 18 month planner. So it started in July 2020 and it ends in December 2021, I'm pretty sure. So then I also got this notebook from the same brand, the Happy Planner. I thought this notebook was so cute. It says always better together. I love it. And my favorite part about the Happy Planner is that it's such a diverse brand and it loves diversity. Especially in times like this, it's very nice to be reminded that we are all united. I mean, we live in the United States for crying out loud. But it's so nice to have a company that supports unity and diversity. So I definitely recommend checking out the Happy Player. YouTube channel will be linked down below as well as their website will be linked down below also you can also find the happy planner at michael's or joann's you can check those stores out but their website will be linked down below as well as the YouTube channel if you're wondering moving on to the fun stuff i'm going to show you what i got from target so the first thing that i got from target was actually three sets of tab dividers if you know me i love binders i love staying organized i got this pack of tab dividers it looks just like this they're blush pink and have like really pretty colors and gold detailing on them. I got two packs of those. I also got this super cute pack, just a pastel ombre look, which I thought was really cute too. Every year I like to go for like a theme of school supplies, so my school supplies all kind of match. So this theme was like a mermaid pinkish theme. It, yeah, it, it'll, it'll click. Cause I said I'm trying to go for a mermaid theme, I got a mermaid printed folder. I love it so much. It's like a holographic folder. It's the cutest thing ever. I love this folder. I'm not a big fan of paper folders. To be honest, I hate paper 
folders, but I thought that was really cute, so I just got it, you know. And then I got this five-star folder that's just blue, it looks like this. I get one of these every single year. Some teachers, oh my god, some teachers don't put holes in papers. Like, you know we all have binders, right? So I just put them in this. And then I also got this Yobi binder because this was super cute. If you watched my video last year, you would know that I best with the brand Yobi. I love the brand and everything that it stands for. So I got this ombre pink binder. I also love that you can still put stickers and like, you know, different pictures in here because it has a plastic covering on it, which I love about this because a lot of decorative binders are just like, you know, you can't really customize them the way that you want to. So I love this binder. I'm super excited to use it. I also got a clipboard. I love clipboards and I just wanted a cute one. So I got one. So one thing I like to do when I'm doing my homework, sit in my bed and do my homework, even though I have a fully functional desk, literally, three centimeters away from me right now, I still do my homework in my bed. So I got this super cute pack of posted flags. They're like patterned. I love them. I saw them and I was like, oh my God, those are so me. I got a pack of tree pencils. I got the Ticonderoga pencils. I knew that if I was gonna get tree pencils, I want the high quality ones. I don't want the Walmart brand tree pencils. I'm gonna come back and I got this fuzzball. If you watched my video last year, you would know that I got one of these. And I got a whole new one this year because I think someone stole it. Oh, nope, nope, that's not true. I spilled hot chocolate on it. So then I also got two packed cap erasers because I run through the erasers of mechanical pencils like it's nothing. Pack of reinforcers. I don't know why, but I don't like reinforced paper. But then I hate it when like my regular loose leaf paper rips. So then I got a pack of whiteout or yeah, what? Moving on to Walmart. I got the most stuff at Walmart and spent less money than I spent at Target. How? Walmart has really been stepping its game up and I low key think that they had cuter stuff at Walmart than Target like binder wise. So I mean, I don't know, might just be, might just be me. A lilac purple one inch, a coral one inch, a white half inch binder, small one. And then I got a hefty one inch one because I know I'm taking AP stats this year and I wanted my binder to be a little bit more durable. I also picked up a pack of sheet protectors because sheet protectors are so nice. I don't know why, I think I'm just gonna put like syllabi in here or like random important papers that I need for my AP classes. I also got a mermaid themed pencil case. I'm so excited, okay. I'm literally five, but look, it's mermaid thing. Say less. Oh, we're about to get into the good stuff. And then I also got a pack of 24 a Big Extra Sparkle pencils. My ultimate holy grail pencils. I get these pencils every single year. I always get them and I'm like, wow, I have so many pencils. And then I lose them all and I'm just like, crap. Tree pencils it is. Then I got a pack of Papermate Flare pens. I love these pens. I love taking notes in my planner and in my notebooks. So I'm super excited about these pens. I get them every year really, like a new pack every year and they always switch up the colors. So this just comes like a light pink, a coral, a yellow, a blue, a periwinkle blue, and a lilac purple. So super excited about these. Also got a big pack of pens. These are the Papermate Ink Joy pins. I love these also. They're really nice. Super excited about these. I have some colorful notes, you guys. So excited. I also got this pack of Midliner Creative Marker pins. I've been seeing these pins around a lot recently. Like the big packs from like Target that are like $30 and I don't have that money to spend on markers right now. So I just found these at Walmart that was like five bucks for a littler pack, which I obviously had to get. It comes with a blue, green, yellow, an orange color, and a gray. Really excited about making my nose extra pretty with these, so I can't wait. Also got a pack of highlighters. Oh, uh, I love these. A pack of two black pins from the, the Precise B5 Pilot brand. And I also got those same pins in blue. Really excited. I love to write my pretty notes in black pens, so I knew I had to get some nice black pens. 0.5 black ink refillable. I didn't know these were refillable. That's so nice. I'll have to try to find the refills of these so I can keep them forever. Like I said, I'm obsessed with post-it notes, so I got two new packs of post-it notes as well as my flags. 
So I got this pack of mini post-it notes and then I got a pack of regular colorful flags. I did not know how much I needed post-it notes until junior year. I'm not even kidding. And I realized that I like the minier ones a lot better than the bigger square ones. I love to use these to annotate books because I'm taking AP Lit this year. And I know that I'm going to have to annotate books because we had to annotate a lot of books in freaking AP Lang. I'm so scarred from that. And I got these because I didn't want to use my pretty ones to annotate some boring book. So. And then lastly, I got two packs of post-it notes. These are the ruled ones, you know, just boring post-it notes. But everything that I got when I went back to school supply shopping. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. It'll help me out a lot. And also smash that subscribe button down below if you're not subscribed already. Because, like, I need more friends in my life. So please hit the subscribe button. I love you guys so much. And I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye, guys.